Uh, my name is Romeo. My, uh, I'm presently working in uh, network engineer. Okay. My question is regarding, since our topic is the religion, my question is about jihad. You know, most of the Filipinos, they see, or the West people, or in my opinion, most of the people see that Muslims are the ones who are creating troubles in the world because of jihad. As far as I know, I read, jihad is protecting your uh, your religion, if your religion is going to die, if it's like something is threatening your religion, then that's the time for jihad. But I see jihad nowadays as, as like distractions of people. You know, in Muslims, being a Muslim, I just joined the Muslim two months back. And this question comes to me, and I want to clear, I want to clear to some people, and why Muslims are starting the fight and you know we are as Christians before we don't like troubles we are a peace people so I don't know what is your opinion regarding this jihad thanks brother asked the question that you also clarify the concept of jihad and he feels that jihad the Muslims fight because religion is dying and he believes the Christians are very peace loving etc jihad is the Arabic word which comes from jihada which means to strive, which means to struggle. So jihad basically means to strive and struggle. In Islamic context, jihad means to strive and struggle against your own evil inclination. Jihad also means to strive and struggle to make the society better. Jihad also means to strive and struggle in the battlefield in self-defense. Jihad also means to strive and struggle to fight against oppression. So jihad basically means to strive and struggle. And this strive and struggle is mentioned in most of the scriptures. But unfortunately, what the media portrays, they translate jihad as the holy war. Holy war in Arabic means harbu muqaddasa. This word harbu muqaddasa no way appears in the Quran in none of the authentic hadith of Prophet Muhammad So holy war is a wrong translation of the Arabic word jihad. This holy war if you go back to history, was first used to describe the Christians, the Crusaders, who spread the religion of Christianity by force. Those who did not accept Christianity, they forced them to death. So these Crusaders, the word Holy War initially was used for the Crusaders. Unfortunately, today, the word Holy War is used for the Muslims. So you say we were Christian, peace-loving. If you go back to history, the people who killed the maximum people in the name of religion, they were Christians. If you go back to history, I'm talking about history, I'm not talking about your Philippine. We're talking about now. But we're talking now the present. Present, present time also. If you see my talk on jihad and terrorism, the biggest terrorist on the face of the earth was George Bush. Christian. <laughs> Huh? Now, now, now George Bush has gone. So his whole story. I know, it's now good. Obama has come. Well, I hate George Bush also. Very That's good. That's why we kicked them in the Philippines. Very good. MashaAllah, I'm for you, brother. I love you, brother. <laughs> so now coming to the question. So jihad actually means to strive to struggle. It does not mean holy war. It means to strive and struggle. And jihad, fi sabilillah, means striving in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So every Muslim should do jihad. What I'm doing today is jihad. I'm striving and struggling to give the message of Allah Subhanahu I'm doing jihad. So jihad is a various type. Every Muslim should keep on doing jihad every day of his life, every moment, strive and struggle. Hope that answers the question. Thank you so much now.